Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So last episode we got our uh, off-site cargo transport all set up and running. We have uh, somewhere, where is it, to the north way over there somewhere. We got ourselves some titanium coming in. Uh, I also want to start heading off to the south, get the aluminum and silver going through, because we're going to start needing some stuff, uh, especially for these... Uh, these conveyor con connectors are actually quite expensive, but they are really useful, and I have some ideas and things I'd like to do with them. Uh, as you can see, I've redone the conveyor line here. Someone was, I think a few people have mentioned about me having the pipe going across the front door there. So originally I had got had it going up and over, and then coming down, and then over here. But I started thinking about this off-site transport, uh, about having places set up. So as you can see, I have relayed the conveyors network here and I have set up T-sections and each T-section is going to have a conveyor connector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up a loading area for six different containers. Uh, we're going to have one for aluminum, one for silver, one for titanium, one for xanite, cobalt, and I think gold if we can. Is that five or six? That's six. I don't know how much we're actually going to need. Oh, I put those put some storage boxes on here and I put them in there because I was going to fill in the floor at the same time. Oh, that didn't take it out. Uh, did a couple other things too. Uh, the miners down there, I've actually turned, not only did I turn those off, but I, I set it up so... Why do I get lag with that? <laughs> yes, this is lag, okay. Let's actually change the color to that, to blue. Uh, Oh, well, I was going to be a lag every time. Interesting. Well, yeah, I uh, set it so the miners aren't actually exporting two containers that just stay inside the miners. And that's like, just to keep the main storage free and uncluttered. Uh, and, whoops. That's weird how you get lag on that. It's not actually connecting to anything. But, uh, yeah. So that's just to keep the storage systems clear, free of the, the ores anyways. Just try to keep that all in the miners. I do have everything still running. Just to try to clear up whatever iron and carbon we have in the system. Just to make things a little more organized. But what I'm going to do, what I'm doing here is, yes, I am done. So now to lay the pads. And I've already noticed the size of the containers. They're actually 5 wide and 12 long. Uh, I've given them eight wide just so I have room to actually land these things down. Uh, one of the things that they did in the last update, which I forgot to mention, I don't know if I did mention or not, but they fixed the bug where uh, any vehicles they have sitting on blocks every time you'll reload the chunk or reload the save, that they would start clipping through the ground or merging as they called it. So I have done a test of this. I've had this here a couple of saves and reloads. I've even went off to uh, the old cobalt mine there where we're going to head off to here soon and came back and it was still here so it seems to be okay so I'm going to actually be putting the containers right on the ground so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some more ceiling tiles uh, get this area filled up and color code them according to the bins that we're already putting on there on putting the co <laughs> color code them to the bins of materials that were we're going to be sitting on top of them so we know what's what. Anyways, uh, let me take care of this. I'll be right back. All right, so it appears I hit the wrong button and I didn't actually start recording this part, but I went ahead and filled in the pads and I went ahead and actually uh, made a set of containers to color code, uh, code them. The reason why three of them are missing is I'm going to drop off one now and I'm recording this at the end of the episode after I recorded everything. So, yeah. Don't you hate it when you forgot to hit the record button? Anyways, I was able to find myself a nice 50-50 well, aluminum and silver. Uh, we got it all going into the same container for now. Uh, just because I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to need, but at least we're set up. But yeah, as you can see, I am going to leave it unplanted for now and hope that it's all good. I did have to scrounge up a few materials, take a couple of legs off my flyer here just to have the plating to finish this up because I've made all the containers and I didn't realize I didn't have enough plates and frames on me. But anyways, that is done. So this is our aluminum and cobalt at C, or aluminum and silver at C. I'll probably get cobalt here too. 
But now I'm going to go head back to the lab, I'm going to go pick up our red container, and we're going to go make a trip back to the desert. So I shall see you back at the lab when it's time to pick up. Okay, I am back. I had a little bit of auto save there. I parked on the roof there just to take a nap, and everything is still in the place that it should be. Uh, my flyer is still there, the containers are still here. So, with that being said, let's drop down, let's go pick up the red one and head back to the desert. Start getting that xanite being produced. I made sure to pick up the plates and frames too, so... I have the supplies... and the technology to build everything. Alright, let's see if we can get this lined up. Alright... much of a bounce there. Alright, let's go up a little bit. And... Should be able to sneak in. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna have to redesign those legs, I think. Yeah. Don't quite have enough room for it. Uh, I'm stuck. Alright, let's, uh... Let's fix this, shall we? Alright, let's uh, get out. And... So yeah, these have got to go. We'll just put blocks there. Alright, and let's see. All the feet were black, yeah, so we'll go black. And blocks are not on the hotbar anymore. Of course not. Why would they be? I never use blocks, so of course not. Uh, don't need the container anymore, so we'll go ahead like this. And I like this, so. This will give us just enough room. Uh, ultimate think, trying to think of an idea for a sky crane, too. Something with, uh, let's say, a retractable hook. So it's something that'll have a hook that can drop down, but at the same time be compact, so the hook can be folded up so I can actually land on the ground. Alright, let's get back in here and see if we can get this thing now. That bounce kind of throws off a little bit. But I think we should have enough room to get in here now. Almost. Almost. But we got it. We got it and we are out of here. So hi ho, hi ho, north we go. Alright, it's gonna take me a little while to get there, so let me uh wedge something in my keyboard here. Go autopilot and I shall see you briefly. Alright, I'm just coming up to the titanium mine here. Uh came across this UFO we had to check out last time. So, let's uh, be brave about this. Uh, on a side note too, I, want, I noticed something at the lab. Uh, there's always been an issue with the rain coming through ceiling tiles, right? Well, the rain will only go through one floor below the ceiling tile. In the main hall where I have Vogley's picture in the floor, there's a lighting glitch. It doesn't rain, but if I go upstairs where the containers are, go below the ceiling panels it's raining but if I go down to the floor where the bottom containers are upstairs it stops raining so that's an interesting thing to keep in mind uh, but let's go check this thing out see if it's gonna kill me or not I'm gonna say yes nothing around well too late now what is this? Yes, this is a whole new thing for me. Pretty heavy too, whatever it is. No clue. Is there something I have to touch? Something I have to interact with? 
Or is it something I just dismantle for parts? I don't know. Like I'm not seeing an interact thing. I don't want to dismantle it. I have had a few people suggest bringing stuff home. Maybe, maybe we'll have to bring this to our backyard or something. Where is my flyer? There it is. Well, yeah, I'm going to leave that here. Uh, it, we do have the beacon for it so I can see it on the map. And, yeah. I'll bring you back at the desert. Okay, after searching for a very long time, <laughs> I uh, went from here, I went all the way up here, and that's where we stopped. Where, that's where I last saw you, and then I went all the way up to here, and I wasn't finding the desert, and so I started heading east along the equator, and then I finally, finally found the desert, and yes, I have Xanite. So now, let's go ahead and get our miner set up. Oh my god, that was taking so long, it's a good thing I... That's gonna kill me. Yeah, so we gotta be quick about this. Let's go ahead and finish this up and get some conveyors on. Let's uh, do this. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, and then we'll put another one like so. Like so, another straight, and then we'll put a one of those. Okay, let's finish this up quickly. Actually, what do I do in here? Let's change the color. We got time to change the color. Uh, oh, that's the wrong color. We'll do that one blue. And we should have enough room for this. So we can do. I thought I heard, I thought I heard foot, footsteps that weren't mine. Okay, so let's do. Like so, and ceiling panels. Then I gotta get the power set up for this too. It's actually too high. Uh, I might actually survive this, <laughs> so I guess I'm not in too much of a panic to get this done because I should have been dead by now. Okay, like so, and two. We can always put the container a little bit closer. And like that. Okay, so now power. Uh, oh, I have everything out already, so we'll go ahead and get some batteries down. Three, four. Uh, yeah, I'll go eight. I think I have enough for everything. Eight batteries. I'll oh, stick four solar panels down. One, two, three, and four. Finish these up. And where is my switchboard? I really should start using these multiple hot bars. <laughs> I always forget about them. Okay. Alright, so now we connect to those. Eight. And the solar panels. Okay, so now we have Xanite 100%. Sweet. Now all we gotta do is drop the container off and then go head off to the. back to the base and play, uh, check on the titanium while we're there. Oh, it's like a big giant crater. You know, and the best thing is too about having these uh, containers that I'm swapping out like this. I don't actually have to get out of the vehicle with these new con conveyor connectors. I just drop drop the container down over here somewhere, pick up the empty one, take it off, put the or the full one, take it off, put the empty one on, and then pick up the full one and take off, and I never have to get out. So that means I don't even have to worry about environmental hazards like temperature. And there we go. Could have made that one a little bit bigger, but uh, it's 
good enough. It does the job. There we go. <laughs> All right, that was bad at me. Right, that's no problem. I can fix this. The master container flyer. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, so that's filling up. And before I go, and I know I've already been reminded of this a few times, but I'm going to keep reminding myself as well. Put a beacon down. The second time I was actually leaving the mine, realizing, wait a minute. I need to get the beacon down. Anyway, I'll be see you back at the lab. Okay, I am back. So I have the Xanite dropped off. Uh, Way, 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 way over there. Uh, I set up a beacon too for the lab because I was getting confused. I was actually a couple of kilometers that way because I'm always trying to go by the A and the F. The a and the F isn't exactly here. So, anyways, I got B for the lab. So now I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I got uh, enough stuff on my, me for another miner. So I'm going to pick up. Cobalt, which I believe is this one here, the the one on the left of the three. And I'm gonna take, let me get out of this tree first. <laughs> I might have to cut that down. I was trying to leave it there, just uh, you know, for something in the backyard because we don't have much of it left. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take this back up to where we were before. Maybe we can find gold up there. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, let me uh, pick this up and I'll bring you back when I'm back back towards the southern tundra. Alright, so here we are. We are back. And I'm just wondering about this. I thought there would have been cobalt up in here, but I'm looking at it now. It seems to be mainly aluminum and silver. I haven't seen cobalt boulders down here, so maybe there's going to be cobalt here. Uh, what I'll do for the time being is I'll place a miner. Keep in mind of the Gadillos that are right there. And, uh, yeah, I'll just see if I can wire it right up to the switchboard on here. Oh, you're coming right over here, aren't you? I got a six ton pendulum. He's coming right this way. Let's see if we can take him out. Come on. Oh, uh, definitely worked. Oh, yeah, I'll take the other guy out, too. Come on, up, up, up. Did I get them both? Ha! Godillos. Jeez, what are people worried about? All right. Let's do this. You're not going to come back to life, are you? Nope. Aluminum. But... Nothing wrong with a little bit of free meat. Oh, using the wrong button. You got four meat out of that. Right. Anyway, what are we looking for? We're looking for cobalt. This looks like cobalt. Let's find out. And do we look color this one? Oh, that's the wrong blue. We want that blue. And where is my switchboard? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's under this side here. There you are. And nothing of interest. All right. So what I need to do is I need to look around for some cobalt. I have no idea where it's supposed to spawn try right here, but that looks more like titanium than anything else. Let's have a look. And nothing. Just uh, a little bit of one percenters. Alright, so let me look around and uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, there we go. 50% aluminum, 50% cobalt. Oh, 
but that's not what I want to do. Uh, so what I want to do, actually, is get out of the menu. We want to disconnect that. We do want to keep it turned on. And now I need to set up a platform for this. So let's move this out of the way. In fact, what I will do is I will do this off camera and I'll bring it back when I'm ready to drop off the container. Okay, it's all set up. So that one's doing cobalt. Uh, what I might actually do before I continue on is I just want to poke around so you can find some gold around here. I'm going to find it in the boulders, and I'll usually find it with uranium. What is this? Aluminum and silver. Whatever. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere else. It's not that big of an issue, but as big of an issue as a Xanite, to be honest. Alright, so, all we have to do is just spin this one around. And drop it on. I had uh, the awful Guadillo, which one? I think it was that guy right there. Comes walking right up to the miner, and I'm like putting the batteries in. He's like 20 feet away from me. He beats his chest, turns around, and runs away. I guess he knew that I killed his friends with this big container hanging from here. Anyway, uh, so let's see if I can see it. I got my view is kind of. It's awkward right now. I was gonna say screwy, but is that the right? Nope, oh, that's not right. Where do I learn how to fly this thing? I don't know. I probably go about an hour's flight worth in this, so I'm not exactly uh, professional at this, especially when it's hanging on the hooks badly. But bring it up a little further. Stop it. And are we on? We're good. Oh. Alright, gotta nudge it. Yeah. Being able to have more fine control would be nice too, but I'm sure you could only have a certain number of the air blades actually giving your control or you just go slow use very small movements like that all right so the lights are green we are good to go now before i head off and before we call this episode i actually want you to see how this one is doing i've thought about splitting this one up but i think we'll leave it uh, the only thing i really need to look at getting now would be the gold uh, that should actually come with uranium, which should be probably somewhere around where we got the titanium coming from right now. So what's in here so far? Here we got silver there, and silver and a little bit of gold. I'm actually going to take that. So what is going on? Figured it would have done more than that by the amount of time I've been gone, but I guess it hasn't been too long. Anyway, uh, I think that is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to head off on my way back and see if I can maybe find some gold along the way. But yeah, we got uh, got a bin down here. We have a bin somewhere, and I probably should have <laughs> put a beacon down wherever it was. Uh, I gotta just remember that. It was right over here, I think. I see it. I see it. I'm sure I'll be able to see it a little bit better in the daytime. I know it'll be close by, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.